What's up everyone? I am Jamie with treelittlegoats.com. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I generally make soap making videos, but we are expanding our horizons and we're going to be starting some other soaps as well. And today, well not soaps, other cosmetics, beauty products, and maybe some vlogs, baking and canning along the way as well. Who knows, we may get a little wild up in here. But today we're going to be doing one of the most requested videos I have ever had, and that is goat milk lotion. Now, you do need some specialty ingredients for it. They're not expensive, and lotion is actually ridiculously easy to make. The hardest part about making any type of lotion, whether it's goat milk or regular, just plain old lotion, is making sure everything is nice and clean. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your gloves are sterile. You wanna make sure you wipe down all your work surfaces with a bleach water solution. All of your containers you're gonna be storing your lotion, get dipped in a bleach water solution and left to dry, as well as all of the utensils. You wanna wash them thoroughly with soap and water, rinse them really well, and then give them a nice bath in a bleach water solution as well. That way, when you do use your preservative, because you will be needing a preservative, lotion is majority water, so you do need a preservative when making lotion. You just wanna make sure that preservative can really do its job and not have to work uphill to battle anything that may have been residing in any of your utensils or bottles already. But after a little prep work, lotion is a breeze, so what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right, y'all, so in this container, I have got my water and my goat milk, and I have heated this up in the microwave. Right now, it's sitting at about 156, 155-ish. And then I use a candy melter, a Wilton's chocolate melter, actually, to melt my butters, my waxes, and everything. And so I've used that to melt all of that. In here, I've got cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, my emulsifying wax, my steric acid, and that's it. I don't have my preservative in here yet because I put my preservative in once everything gets mixed and we are below a specific temperature. I'm not gonna go into preservatives right now. Everybody has their own opinions. I suggest you do your research and decide which preservative you prefer. The preservative but when you are making lotions, you do need a preservative. There's just, there's no way around it. So I am going to get my brand new fancy dancy mixer ready. We'll see how this goes. Now everything I have touched, everything I am using has been sterilized and dipped in a bleach water solution and let to air dry. So I am going to get started. Lotion is pretty much Super easy. If you don't want to make goat milk lotion, it's the same process, just omit the goat milk. But I will have the exact recipe I'm using on my blog linked down below. So the big important thing is making sure that your water or milk is hotter than your oil and your waxes because you don't want to pour these in. And then all of a sudden, it hardens up instantly. So you want to make sure this is hotter than this. this quick mix. I don't want to mix it too much because I don't want it be, to be too thick for me to pour in my little bottles that I'm using today. I thought I ordered a larger size bottle. Oh, they're small, which makes them very hard to pour into. So I'm just going to mix this till it's cool enough for me to put my preservative in. I mean, it doesn't look thick, but once she cools, she gonna get thick. All right. Uh, so I am happy with that. I'm going to grab my scale. I'm actually going to zero it out with my mixer in there because I don't want to set my mixer down somewhere. And I'm going to add in my preservative. to get this out of the way. And we're going to mix in our preservative nice and well. At this time, you can also add in any colorants as long as they're water soluble. And if you're doing a 
big batch of one fragrance, you can do that as well. Add that now too. And again, like I said, I don't want to wait too long to pour these because they're going to get thick on me. And that's just a big old pain. So we are going to take, and I've actually got fragrance in each individual little bottle. Come on, zero out. There you go. I'm going to try to pour these in without making a giant mess. There you go. I'm not going to put my lids or anything on until these have all come to room temperature as well. So once that happens, I will bring you guys back. All right. So while those are cooling, I figure I'd give you a little idea of what the consistency of this actual soap is. So I just dipped a spoon in, a clean sterilized spoon into some of it. And as you can see, it's just it's gorgeous. So gorgeous and it just absorbs into the skin so well and for someone that wears gloves as much as I do I appreciate a nice luscious lotion so that is what I have got for you guys today if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up it really helps and if you haven't already what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button we put out new videos every single week and I'd love for you guys to stick around and kind of Come on this homesteading journey with us as we grow our little farm into a nice big farm as well. So be sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to that. And as always, be sure to check out the description box down below where I'm always posting lots of information. I will have a blog post specifically for the lotion going over more information. If you have any questions, as always, leave those down in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.